Super Smash Brothers has been the best platforming fighting game for over 25 years now. There has been others that try to compete, but still hasn't found the same level of success that Smash has. In this video, I'm going to be giving you my opinions on if multiverses can compete with Smash. Watch till the end of the video for my answer on will multiverses ever be more successful than Super Smash Brothers. First, let's talk about the developers of the game, Player First Games. I do think they're a good dev team for a game like this, but they need to put the players first in order for this game to succeed. Yeah, it was hard for them to do that towards the end of first launch of the game, but I like to look at the positives in that they were able to understand what they need to do. Two, they're able to get a bigger working force for them to meet the demands of the fans and Warner Brothers. It's also nice to see the dev team asking for feedback for their game and actually using that feedback to improve the game for the players. They're making exciting reveal trailers just like Smash does really is going to help them in the long run especially as more characters are on the way. Speaking of characters, let's go on to our next topic, the roster. Now Multiverses has iconic characters that can compete with the likes of Super Smash Bros. MV goes in the different direction that Smash won't go is that their rosters includes characters from comic books, TV shows, movies, even real life people like LeBron. Now every new character that drops can give you a whole new fan base playing your game. Now let's talk about the gameplay of MV. Being a platforming fighter, it is kind of hard to innovate on that genre. But Multiverses does has one thing going for it in that aspect is that the perk system that they have it's not too crazy where it, it dramatically changed the gameplay to like something totally different but it's just big enough that play first games can always shake things up by dropping new perks for each character on the roster so dedicated players won't get bored of the game over time also the fact that 2v2 some characters have new abilities and moves is such a great idea that's going to help this game succeed. It's crazy how like so many characters have different synergies with each other. Like you're going to be seeing a lot of that in pro tournaments. The players using all different type of characters. It's going to keep people playing the game and even watching the game. That's a huge one up that MV has over Smash in my opinion. But is it enough for MV to be more successful than Smash? With all that being said, what's my answer? Well, MV does have a lot of bright spots, like its character, its new gameplay mechanics, but everybody that plays multiverses knows that deep down, what if this game does get shut down again? Yeah, I know, you don't want that to happen, and neither do I, but you can't lie, that's always a possibility. Let's just say it doesn't, in a perfect world that multiverses does everything right. What about Smash though? You see, Sma Smash Bros has an aura around it that is unmatched. Just a whisper that a new Smash Bros is in development will have everybody just going crazy. I mean, everyone's making reaction videos, everyone's not taking showers, everyone's trying to predict the roster. The hype when a new Super Smash Bros game is announced is unreal. So, in my opinion, no. Multiverse is, is never going to be as successful as Super Smash Brothers, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be. Multiverse has a place for its own, for gamers on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. In my opinion, that's a big win in their book. Thank you for watching. Yo, if you guys made it this far, I just want to say you guys are real ones for that. Thank you. It helps a lot, you know, it gives me confidence to make more videos, talk about more things that I like to talk about. If you guys have any questions about anything, just let me know in the comments. I will respond. So, you know, just let me know if you have any tips, have any more ideas on what videos I should make. What can I do to improve? Because, you know, I'm still new to this, so any tips will help. Yeah, my channel name is Joseph Blind. You guys can call me Joseph for short. 
also stream on Twitch at the same username, Joseph Lang. I have a Discord. You could ask me questions on there if you want to, too. Or, you know, come to my streams and ask me questions there. That's fine, too. Thank you guys for all the support. I really do appreciate it. See ya.